welcome back my people man welcome back to meditation for sage i hope y'all having a blessed day and a safe night wherever you at and uh today gonna be a great day tonight gonna be a, a safe night that's how we start our motto we start with positivity positive energy so that you know pretty much the direction the energy and the vibe of this channel and the topic today we'll be talking about um today we'll be talking about strength right now we all going through something we all going through trials and tribulations whether it be physically mentally financially uh we all going through something or we know someone going through it it's easy to it's easy to be uplifting and say positive things when you up and you're not being affected by anything but it shows character and strength and faith when you're going through something and you can still be positive and be uplifting to others as well in most cases misery loves company but in my case our case that's not the situation you know we we understand my, me myself understand that you know by me speaking strength into this camera and to other people, I'm receiving that strength as well. You understand? So, um, it's not just going in one ear and coming out the other. It's, it's, it's medicine for myself also. It's a seed that I'm planting right now. I'm not even complaining, but I'm having, I'm having back issues uh, for my scoliosis, my spine. Um, I'm having, I got bit by something or infected. I got rash breaking out, itching all over my, my back, you know, spreading. I don't know. Thank God it's not monkeypox. Hopefully it's starting to spread on my hand a little bit. And, uh, you know, financial issues and just, you know, a lot of stuff with draws. We're going through it. And I just want you guys to know that everybody, um, you know, is, is going through it. And we'll get through it, you know. For the people suffering from mental health, don't take your life. I just watched um, I watched three murder suicide videos today. It really broke me down just seeing that. And every time that I see someone committed suicide, it reminds me of my best one of my best friends who took his life years ago, and it reminds me of myself with my two suicide attempts. So I really take that personally when I see that. And especially when it involves children also who are innocent because us adults uh, haven't got our mind right okay so like I said with this with this channel man we are gonna try to grow um, grow one day at a time you know you know you guys' words and comments may help me um, get through my days and we hope and pray that our videos and words help you guys as well. So, um, the Bible verses on on strength is uh, Isaiah Isaiah forty twenty nine. Right, God speaks of He He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. You know when you're tired, you you know when you're tired and you're weary from what's going on in your personal life when you're tired and weary of hearing the sirens um, from crying and chaos outside it gets you tired you know when you get you know weary and tired paycheck to paycheck you get tired you know when you get sick and down you know you get weary and tired but you know when you pray and learn to have a personal relationship with God and Jesus Christ he will give you strength you won't even understand you will look back and be like man how did I get through that I don't know how I got through that you know I know now in hindsight but I don't know how I've got through that you know I remember when I was stationed in Fort Bliss I used to sleep on the floor I slept on the floor for two years man I didn't have any furniture my family wasn't there I had a, I had a studio apartment no, I had a two bedroom. I moved around like five, six times in, in two years. I got kicked out, evicted, whatever. And uh, 
I didn't have any money for furniture because I would spend my money, you know, gambling, addicted, or alcohol, or whatever, cigarettes, miscellaneous stuff, and then sending money to my family. So I was broke. I didn't have clean clothes sometimes, wearing dirty clothes to work, couldn't afford the gas, you know, praying that I would get, you know, praying, praying that I could make it to work and get home, you know, just for the day. And uh, the back aches, you know, it, it was really hard, man, you know, going through that situation, not having money for food, you know. Um, you know, some, sometimes, uh, you know, finding cigarette butts out of the trash can, and I wanted to commit suicide then, you know. And uh, I just, I was really weak. I don't know how I got through it, but I always made it through it somehow. Somehow, you know, if I had to beg or borrow, and a lot of my friends were going through the same situation I was going through also. So we all helped each other, man. And we all, we was all lost and searching, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was hard, man. But we made it through it. And you will also, wherever you at, you will make it through it as well, man. Um, if you don't give up. You know, right now, uh, I have pain up my neck, my legs. Um, nerve damage, I don't know what it is, but like I say, man, God, God gives us strength, and that's why I speak affirmation throughout the day. Um, I ask God, you know, to give me strength, and I have strength, you know, I have strength, I'm healthy, I'm healed, I'm strong, and I say this like four times, I'm healthy, I'm healed, I'm strong, you know, let the weak say they strong, and it gives me strength get through a few minutes or a few hours, you know, not today, because, you know what I'm saying, everything, your thoughts change, so I had to keep constantly reminding myself that, you know, God is with me, Christ is in me, I'm going to make it through the night, I'm going to make it through this day, and it gives me strength, and then before I know it, it's nighttime, you know what I'm saying, um, and you're going to be tested when you are trying to change for the better, you, you are going, you know, when I was doing my thing with alcohol and cigarettes and popping pills, I had pain, but I was numb to the pain from the, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, drugs and alcohol or whatever, you know? And now it's like, my mom always say that when you try to change, the rooster gonna come back to crow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, 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 the rooster gonna come back and crow, you feel me? So, but I've been on this path before, but this time is different, man, because I have been going through so much. And I look back and I see that I have been the one causing all of this pain and chaos. And I praise God for never leaving me or forsaking me, you know, um, for teaching me. And uh, I just want to help other people also. It's not being judgmental, you know, not criticizing and just, you know, giving strength. To my brothers and sisters, when you fall down and you get back up and you find strength, man, you're supposed to reach out and help somebody else and pull them up also, you know what I'm saying, so they can pull somebody else up, you know. Um, Corinthians 1 7 says that, and our hope for you is firm because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. So, you know. God is, God is with us when we're suffering and when we are balling, you feel me? When we, when we up, he, he with us. They, they with us when we up and they with us when we down. It's just, you know, we have to, sometimes when you're going through stuff, you hear that voice that it's gonna be all right. But if we're not deep rooted deep rooted in our faith, we will, you know, of course panic. But at the same time, when you done been through it so much, you just get numb to it, you understand? And it's sad that we 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 live our lives like that and we haven't understood yet. But sometimes, you know, we need to go through these situations, man, to develop wisdom. You know what I'm saying? To help others. God is not finished with me yet. He's not finished with my family yet. He's not finished with you yet. Okay? 
So whether whether you locked up somewhere, jail or prison, or you locked up mentally, you know God is not finished with you yet. You just have to submit to Him and just take it one day at a time. You know, if you like me, you just take it hour by hour, minute by minute, hour by hour. You understand? Um, you never know what people are going through, man. I know a lot of people are giving up on humanity and forgiving up and giving up on themselves. And uh, it's a crazy, scary world out here that we're living in, man. But that's why we have to learn to trust God, man, and lean not to our own understanding. Because I don't understand. I understand, you know, you know, people taking their lives because I've been in that situation. But their children, I don't understand it. You know, taking the lives of others along with yourself, I don't understand it. Um, I don't understand it. So, you know, when we find strength and hope, we need to share it and try to pick someone else up. Not tomorrow, today. You understand? Because tomorrow has its own problems. You see, every day there's some kind of chaos going on, something happening every day in the world. So get your minds right, man. Get your spirits right. Get your souls right. You know what I'm saying? And prepare for the return of Christ. You know? Because he's coming back. He's coming back. You understand? So I pray that this message reach someone. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. If you have any tips for us, you know, leave a comment, man. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Break bread with us, man. And, you know, if, if you're new, subscribe. And welcome to the family, man. And more videos to come. God bless you guys and have a safe day and a safe night wherever you at, man. We love you guys here at Meditation for Sage, man. God bless you guys. Keep the faith and stay strong, all right?